Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Thank you for watching and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to talk to you about NDI output routing which is available in certain TriCaster models. Now, the feature of NDI routing panels are very similar to those normally provided by an expensive external matrix video router and allows you to assign one of these outputs to downstream devices like say digital signage, you can convert them into SDI via an NC1IO or Spark for SDI based equipment. And can even use other computers as recording devices via NDI Studio Mod. And this feature also allows you to route video on another system without having to physically go and log into it and change those settings, giving the TriCaster operator the power of routing. All right, so there's a ton of different ways to use this feature. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm going to start off in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface and let me open up my output configuration panel to show you a few things. So uh, first off, on the TriCaster 2 Elite, I have eight different mixes here and each one of those I can assign to, you know, my program, program clean, any of my inputs, media players, mix effects, etc. here. Uh, on the TriCaster 1 Pro, I just have my mixes 1 through 4. Now these mixes correspond to the physical SDI outputs of those systems uh, and then also I can send those out via NDI as well. So it can be either hardware or NDI outputs coming out of the system. All right. Now that's just the, the eight that I have on this one right now. But with our NDI output routing, I can do a whole lot more. OK, so let me show you where that's located. That's going to be directly beneath our program window here. You'll see outputs 1 through 4 and outputs 5 through 8. So the uh, TriCaster 2 Elite has eight different NDI outputs to send out, whereas the TriCaster 1 Pro has four, but they're going to look pretty much similar to what I have here. Let me go ahead and open up my output one through four here and show you how that looks. All right, so this looks very similar to a switcher, like kind of like I have on the bottom here. Uh, only differences are I don't have any transitions available to me, and I don't have any downstream keyers add to this. This is specifically for output routing to different NDI enabled devices. All right. So let's take a look here. Uh, I have on the left all my the names of my outputs uh, and I can rename them if I want to. I'll just leave them how they are for now. And let's take a look at some of the different things that we have available to us. So I have on my bank number one, I have my mixes one through four available. Uh, also my inputs one through 16 along with my DDR players and my bank number two. I have my mixes 5 through 8, along with inputs 17 through 32, and my DDRs. And going over to 3 is where I have all of my buffers, uh, 1 through 15. And then I have a 25, 32 here, uh, and then also just a black output. OK? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of routing here. So this is just outputting uh, the different signals that are coming from my uh, TriCaster 2 Elite. And uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to have my output 2 be number 2. And then 3 is input 3 and 4. And then on my output number 1, uh, for this particular example today, uh, the kind of the scenario I have up here is, let's say that I have a system uh, downstream on my network that's going to be specifically for playing back clips so like commercials for example or highlights it's whatever you have on your broadcast what i can do now is i can set my output number one to ddr1 where i have my clips that are going right now with you know some of these uh, nature clips going on and that's just going to be specifically for that so now I, my uh, tricaster operator still has those eight different outputs on the output configuration side that they can still play with, do whatever they want, do all kinds of switching. But this particular output is going to be specifically sending out DDR1. And if I want to, in the middle of a show, say, let's switch that. And now I'm going to go over to DDR2. I can do that as well. Uh, over here on the right, you'll see I have different previews for those outputs coming out of the system as well. And uh, that allows me to be able to see those without having to have another monitor on my desk so that I can take a look at all this. OK, so now what I'm going to do is switch over to my desktop to show you how to pull in these feeds from my NDI output routing. All right, so here we are on my desktop where I'm running NDI Studio Monitor, and this is going to be the hypothetical uh, DDR playback machine that I was talking about a second ago. 
OK, so let's go ahead and right click anywhere on NDI Studio Monitor. And I'll find the device that I'm working on, which is my TriCaster 2 Elite. Oh, Studio, TriCaster 2 Elite, there we go. And so you'll see all of the different things that normally coming out of the uh, TriCaster. So I can, you know, independently say uh, 5 through 8 uh, of my inputs, my different buffers, my DDRs, mixes, etc. OK, now these are the different hardware outputs and NDI outputs coming out of my TriCaster 2 Elite. But beneath those, here is where I have those NDI outputs that are specifically designed to just be NDI routing. So no more need for expensive um, you know, video routers. You can do it all from the system itself. So let's go ahead and select output number one, which is my DDRs. And boom, those are those clips uh, that I have uh, coming from my TriCaster. Now I can full screen that, throw it to a big old projector or you know <laughs> monitor, whatever. And now this is specifically being sent out as a uh, NDI output uh, from my uh, TriCaster. And again, I can quick punch those in. If I want to change those just on the spot, I can open up that panel on the TriCaster, switch it to another DDR or to an input or to one of my mixes, however you want. A lot of versatility with using NDI output routing. Highly recommend checking it out, playing around with it, and of course, have some fun. NDI output routers, a great tool in video distribution. Now, if you like this tutorial and want more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And if you would like formal New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information about new tech products and services, contact your local reseller, or you can visit our website, newtech.com, or get yourself a free online new tech product demonstration by signing up at newtech.com slash demo. And as always, if you're posting your work with new tech gear on social media, don't forget to tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.